Today we're looking at the history of Groundhog Day. Hello, welcome to the Daily Bell Ringer. Please don't forget to subscribe and take a look at the questions down in the description. Also, don't forget to check out dailybellringer.com where you'll find more resources that go with many of the Bell Ringer videos. Each year on February 2nd, thousands upon thousands of people descend upon the small town of Punxsutawney in west central Pennsylvania. They're not there to see a rock concert or there for a protest or to see political officials. Rather, these thousands of people have all come to see a rodent. But not just any rodent, they're there to see a groundhog named Punxsutawney Phil come out of his burrow and find out if he sees his shadow. If Phil sees his shadow and returns into his burrow, then that means there's going to be six more weeks of winter. However, if he does not see his shadow, this means he is predicting an early spring. But why on earth would thousands of people come to see this and millions across the United States and Canada look to a groundhog for a weather prediction? Well, the history of Groundhog Day goes back many centuries. February 2nd falls halfway between the winter solstice marking the beginning of winter and the spring equinox marking the beginning of spring in the northern hemisphere. Centuries ago, the Celts in Europe celebrated February 2nd to mark the midway point of winter, but as time went by and Christianity was adopted throughout Europe, the celebration transformed into Candlemas, which commemorated the presentation of Jesus at the temple in Jerusalem. Many Europeans began to believe that if there were sunny skies on Candlemas, then that meant there would be an early spring. In Germany, they began to look to hibernating animals to determine if it were truly sunny or not. They began to believe that if certain animals could see their shadow on February 2nd, that meant either spring was coming sooner or possibly winter was going to last longer. In particular, they began to look to the badger for the weather prediction, so the celebration was known as Badger Day. Of course, during the 18th and 19th centuries, thousands of Germans immigrated to America, with many settling in Pennsylvania, and with them they brought their customs and traditions, contributing to the Great American Melting Pot. However, in North America, the badger was not as easy to spot, so they instead began to look to the groundhog. The earliest record of the holiday being observed in Pennsylvania goes back to 1840, but the celebration that we know today dates back to the late 1880s. In 1886, Clymer Freeze, a newspaper editor, approached the Poxitani Elks Lodge, which had a group of men that had started a club to hunt groundhogs, and he approached them about an idea to celebrate Groundhog Day on February 2nd. On February 2, 1887, the first Groundhog Day celebration took place when the club held a picnic at a site just south of the town of Ponxatawney, known as Gobbler's Knob. Since then, the celebration has grown and grown, as today nearly 40,000 people descend upon Ponxatawney, which has a population of only around 6,000. To this day, the official groundhog prediction is still held at Gobbler's Knob, where a group known as the Inner Circle who dress in tuxedos and top hats and claim to be able to speak groundhog language preside over the event. The star of the event, of course, is Ponxatawney Phil, who officially is considered a large ground squirrel, or marmot. Interestingly, according to the Inner Circle, despite an average lifespan of a groundhog being about 10 years, Ponxatawney Phil is the original groundhog that made the prediction in 1887, over 100 years ago. The legend is, is that Phil drinks a magical potion each year that prolongs his life. At exactly 7.25 a.m. on February 2nd, Phil is summoned from his burrow to come out and make his prediction. The inner circle, of course, confers with Phil and then announces his official prediction of if there will be an early spring or six more weeks of winter. But is Phil correct in his predictions? Meteorologists have studied Phil's predictions and climate data and have concluded that Phil is correct only about 50% of the time. Nonetheless, other communities around the country and in Canada have adopted their own Groundhog Day celebrations, with many using a stuffed or taxidermied groundhog to make their predictions. Not surprisingly, the inner circle in Puxatawney declares all other predictions to be false and contends that only Puxatawney Phil can make the true prediction. Whatever your leanings are concerning Groundhog weather forecasts, just remember Groundhog Day is a day to have fun and look forward to whatever weather might come your way. So with that, hopefully you learned something and thanks for watching. <laughs>